So I'm sure you've heard that rental real estate has some pretty juicy tax benefits. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my five favorite tax benefits when it comes to rental real estate. But before I get into that, I just want to note that I'm not a CPA or tax professional. So just make sure you get with a professional before you do anything. The first tax benefit I want to talk about is something called depreciation. And depreciation is simply the reduction in value of an asset over time due to wear and tear. So even though properties don't have wear and tear, well, they have wear and tear. You have to put money into a property, make sure it stays maintained. But generally over time, properties go up in value. But the government allows you to deduct the assets price over a certain period of time due to depreciation. And that amount of time for residential real estate is 27 and a half years. So let's do an example. Let's say that you buy a residential real estate property that is worth $350,000. But let's say that out of those $350,000, $75,000 is the land. And it's important to note that you cannot depreciate land. So that has to be subtracted from the total amount. So you're gonna do 350,000 minus the 75,000 for the land, and that's gonna leave you with $275,000. So we're going to now divide the $275,000 by the 27 and a half years, which will give you $10,000. So you can deduct $10,000 per year on your rental income. So that means that if you make $10,000 in rental income for that year, using depreciation alone, you will have to not pay any taxes. The second tax benefit I wanna talk about is something called a 1031 exchange. And to give an example of what the 1031 exchange is, let's say that you buy a property for $100,000 and a few years later you sell it for $150,000. That $50,000 difference is capital gains and you have to pay taxes on it unless you file for a 1031 exchange, which says that you will use that money to help you buy another larger rental property. So basically the government says you are deferring your taxes to a later date. And the reason why that's good is because you have extra money, you're saving money from not paying taxes to buy this next property and money now is worth more than money later. And if you're thinking, man, I don't wanna pay capital gains tax at all. There's actually a way to not pay capital gains tax at all legally. And I'm gonna talk about that in my fourth point. The third tax benefit I want to talk about is that fact that you get to pay capital gains tax. If you hold a property for longer than 12 months, you get taxed at long-term capital gains, which as of right now is between zero to 20%. And chances are that is less than what you would be paying in earned income if you were working a regular job. The fourth tax benefit I want to talk about is a bit of a morbid one, but it is a very important one to know. And that's called the step up in basis. So let's say that you end up buying 10 properties throughout your life and each one gains $400,000 in capital gains. If you die, when your family inherits those 10 properties, that $4 million of capital gains gets completely wiped out. Basically, the properties get re-evaluated at its current value whenever you die and your family inherits it. And the fifth tax benefit I wanna talk about is the fact that rental income is not subject to Medicare and Social Security tax. And that's about seven to 15%, which is a pretty sizable amount. Anyway, guys, that's it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button.